Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In this short video, I'll show you how you can display a person page on your WooCommerce products. So if you have an e-commerce website with Office and you put a discount price on any product, you will get a sale page like this. But if you want to display something like 20% off, 10% off here instead of this sale page, you can do it easily by watching this video. So let me show you how you can do this. And we will be doing this with use of some codes that I'll provide in the description. So let's see how we can do this. The first thing is you can just go to your dashboard. Let's go there. And then you can go to plugins, click add new. And here we will install WP code plugin. This is the plugin that we can use for inserting code to our WordPress website. So just install and activate this one. This is from WP code. And once you activate the plugin, you can scroll down and you will see this menu code snippets. Just go there and click on add snippet. And here you click on add your custom code. And here we will have to write a snippet title and then you will write that snippet code. Now to get the code you can just go to this link in the description which will take you to this page. Here you can see displaying a percentage discount on your commerce product. So the first code here is for the shop. So the first code here is for the shop page. You can see here on sale label on shop archive page. So you can use this code for display that label on the shop page. Let's copy this and let's go back to that plugin and here we will give it a title like on shop page and we will put that code here and we have some errors here because this is not an html code and we will have to change this to a php snippet now you don't have any error and that's it that is what you will just need to do then scroll down and choose auto insert here run everywhere and enable this on all devices and that's it then just make this active because this is now inactive and save snippet now let's go back to our website here we can see we have this on sale page only let's go to our shop page and here you can see on sale product with display page 20% off don't worry we will design this later on same here we have 13% off 17 19 and so on so this will take values from your products let me show you one of them so if i open this product in a new tab here we don't have that discount price because we only add that on the products page now if you want to display that same amount here on the single page you can copy the next code here you can see on sale label on single product page just copy this and then go back and for this one you can add a new snippet or you can use this right here let's click enter here and we'll paste that code and we'll update now let's check our single page i refresh now you can see 20 percent off and as i said we will design this later on now let me show you the correct value here let's edit this product and let's check its price so here you can see 99 and 79 so this is 20 percent to show you clearly i'll make this 100 and the sale price will be for example 50 now this will show 50% off. If I update this and view this, now you can see 50% off. So this will take values from your sale price. Now let's see how we can style this to make this here. And for that you can use the sale class here. If I inspect this, here you can see this pen is using on sale level. So if I copy this class and then go back to that snippet, and instead of this sale price off, we will use that class. This is just a CSS class. I'll paste that and we will also change this class. So basically we just change the class in this code. Now if I update this, I'll just refresh this and we can't see this because of this sale page. So let's see how we can hide this and how we can replace this. So for that you can again go to that link and here you will find some CSS code. So you can use this code to make changes to this style. Let's copy this. Now you can use a snippet here and you can add a new one which will be your CSS snippet. Or you can go to your customize. So under appearance, you can go to customize. I'll open this in a new class. And then we will scroll down all the way to the bottom, additional CSS. So I'll just paste that code. Now remember we have used this class here. So I'll use this back and that snippet. So instead of that on sale, we will use their class and same goes for this one 
and then I'll update. Okay, one more thing we will have to hide this. So I'll copy its class, which is on sale, and under customize, I'll put that class, then use a CSS property display none, and we'll make this important. Let's publish this and let's refresh one more time. And now you can see a proper page here 50% off. And if I go to product page now, here you will see 50% off and other products 13%, 20, 13, and so on. If you want to make changes to this, like if you want to change the background color, the font size, the font family, you can change this CSS here. And to show you, I'll go to products page here and let's copy this color just to match this theme ok so I'll copy this and now here you can see background color so I'll use that color now you can see the changes here so we have this with the same color and again you can change the font size here so I'll make this fill for example now you can see here or let's make it 13 and uh, this is the text alignment which is to the center, display flakes, line height and font weight. If you want to make this bold you can change this to 700. And this is the top left radius which is this rounded corner. You can also remove this to make this square. And if you want to decrease the width here you can change 42 to something like 77. Now you can see the width is changing. Let's make it 66. So you can make changes based on your need. Let's go back to 40 or 42 and we'll publish this. Now if I go to shop page again, we'll refresh. We have that proper page here. So this is how you can add a person of page on your WooCommerce products. Again, you can follow this link in the description to get the codes. And to learn more about WordPress, WooCommerce and Elementor, you can visit my channel. I have lots of videos about WordPress. Still, if you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.